everyone. This is another Freedom to Feel conversation, and my guest today is Inaya Oakroot. She's a spiritual teacher, healer, founder of the Oakroot Spiritual Academy, and the author of Unfolding, Awakening to Your Pure Potential, Discovering Divine Duality. So this is my brief introduction to Inaya, and we talked briefly off record, but in your own words, who are you? in this very moment? Well, in this very moment, I, I'm just here and excited. Mm. But um, why I'm here is because I, I, I'm an author of three books of the paradigm shift, and I'm very much concerned about our shift from uh, uh, inverted duality to see the third energy oneness expanded into first duality that we have to experience as two polar energies but then coming as we are now into the shift of the other side of the coin and it's divine duality mm -hmm. and for me it's it's so important and i i have done so many uh, i have so many clients and and retreats where I teach it, and I see it's so simple for people to start to use the tools. Mm. Like, you know, because duality uh, has printed in a word view in us, it's uh, when, when we practice the, the other side of the coin, it's actually clears what we have created from separation. Mm. So it, it's such a powerful tool that I, I'm here to deliver. Yes, beautifully. Yes. Yeah. Um, wow. I love your work. <laughs> yeah. I went on your website. You. I have all the services here. So I'll be mentioning them at the end. But you just mentioned some of them, the retreats, right? Mm. The book and then the other ones. We are talking today about uh, unfolding. So I guess my follow-up question is, how did you come to this understanding as separated wholeness? How did you arrive here <laughs> and knowing your why? Yeah. First, I can just uh, describe a little bit more of what divine duality is, yeah. because it, it is, you know, it's we all know that that the child is uh, it's like the center between father and mother, be yeah. be, uh, between male and female energy. And when instead of saying that this is good and this is bad, when we meet two counterparts in the middle, it's actually come into the exact vertical line with oneness. Mm. And in that spot, when two opposites meet, it doesn't mean that we come to oneness. It's so much more, actually. It's, uh, it's the triangle. It's uh, the area of the triangle that we encounter when we are totally mm. vertical in our breath and in our understanding, when our three intelligence are, are integrated. And there opens a field of creativity or potential. Mm. And, uh, and in, in uh, the process, when two counterparts just enter each other, it's, it's like, you know, an energy shift in every, every little uh, movement into the middle and this energy shift it's like a super clearing of all the small substance that it exists but always as mm. as you know as all healing tools we have to go into slow motion we have to go into that our middle space that our space between the things mm. uh, well, I think I'm born to uh, to investigate this. <laughs> yes. Yeah, my father and mother always had so different ideas about reality, so I could never fit any of them be without the other being angry. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> so I I really and also they are, you know, they are they they taught me so much with their way of being and taught me to listen in the word. Mm. So uh, actually, I think really that duality has been my, my learnings uh, since I was born. Mm. And it's uh, as, as we all have, when we have a mission, 
it's from start we can't just look back and see what lessons do uh, did uh, life teach us but when i encounter uh, the divine duality and this it's it's just like 2 years ago yeah and um when i i, I had already written two paradigm shift books uh, about the creative existence that exists all around us but yeah. then i was going into deep 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 meditation about yin yang right. and i i just found that yin yang is not this smooth wheel of go, going into the the darkness and and light it's exa- exactly as the sun as you know the sun is a self sustaining mm. with exploding and imploding yeah. and yin yang is the father and the mother energy penetrating each other like uh, explo- uh, going into an internal field uh, eternal field that we have around us the total blackness is totally love and it's mm. totally it's the the thing that keep everything together and the consciousness penetrating the the darkness is a infinite energy of creation that is existing everywhere in all dimensions mm-hmm. all dimensions yeah. as well which means mm. this is not the only one right no um so that's interesting to hear about this understanding of this term divine duality came to you came to your awareness 2 years ago So before that it's a much different from your understanding prior those two years it's a level deeper and it, and uh, so much easier yeah <laughs> uh, you know it's it's like every step has been from uh working uh as a, with inter- uh, inventions and and uh, entrepreneurship in university and with the developing companies and different uh, ways it's always about the mind how we uh, uh, how mm-hmm. we develop uh, everything from the mind so it uh, it came to uh, understanding the heart and the heart <laughs> is the main thing to make the mind work and uh, you know it's it different levels that makes us conscious right. that we all i think go through and if we have a mission all this uh development that we are doing it's going into the same field deeper and deeper and deeper for every one of us and this is mine yeah <laughs> that i want to deliver yeah yeah it really resonates mm. true right in your book i see that you have uh love mission vision those three um you have a triangle and you yeah. have those three components that you just spoke of and you call them intelligence they are universal intelligence yeah i have uh in my way of seeing it uh we have in in our higher self that is outside the time and space we have just one internal intelligence yeah. but when it comes into third dimension it splits into mind heart and body right. and uh when we uh, uh when we uh, learn how to handle those devices it's a gift that they are divided because then we can use intention and really uh go in different directions if they were internal we wouldn't have been that possible creative beingness mm. that we are but we need to handle those tools mm. in the right way so talk to me about this split that you don't see you do see as a split you just mentioned that I, in your book you say beautifully duality is not a split duality is an expansion so duality is one is expanding and now you mentioned um i split well, a parent split of body mm. mind and heart yes so yeah i'd love to hear a little bit more about that yes <laughs> well uh what i understand it as when i channel is actually that our uh the the meaning that uh, that we should uh breathe is vertical yeah and when our breath is vertical and our center is our heart we actually connect the three immediately so mm-hmm. that's uh, always when i guide i guide into with med- uh, meditations because meditations uh, reset our brain not to have pre-assumption mm-hmm. 
And uh, I always start with vertical breath to come to understanding beyond, the beyond. So uh, when we have had all, all our, uh, you know, our studies, everything comes from outside, implement ideas into us instead of having the trust from inside. Right. And and our breath have, have been, uh, you know, not cultivated. It has been just in and out. And uh, you, we can just think about it. When we get uh, oxygen with the in-breath and we get in and out, we don't uh, nurture the whole body. So and we are we are vertical beings. Makes sense. So we need to to just use another way of breathing, and our standing will come with it, and our integration of our inner self. So it, it we have turned uh, our our cultures has turned us to be more handable right. for them. And with that, we have uh, been taught to do things that uh, that made us incompetent of being the human beings, goddesses that we are born to be, mm. the devis. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, mm. Mm, so true. What can I say about that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Mm. Absolutely. Um, and you do speak in your book too about societies and corporations, um, how they operate and. Uh, you see here something that I made. Um, yeah, we have started to live a life where we are divided into two parts or even many parts. So that um, that's not a div divine duality. That's a different kind of duality. That's more um, mm. brain oriented in a sense, as you I, I I call it inverted, div inverted. <laughs> duality. Right. Yeah. Yes. So a place um, in life where we cannot dwell for too long without consequences. That is so true. And the consequence would be suffering, right, Naya? Yes. All separation makes us suffer. Yes. It's, it's like when, you, when we have something that is really painful inside us, it's just escape from the suffer that makes us suffer. When we go into it with our breath and our presence, they only love. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Ah, uh, what's well, not to love about that message? <laughs> yes, one of love. Mm. So that's the question that I usually ask as well when it comes to experiencing duality and um, separated wholeness, as I, I love to say too. What is your definition of love that can fit both or maybe all dimensions per se? Um, I have my understanding, but I would love to hear from you. What is um, what is love? How would mm. you yeah, define love? Uh, for me, when I am guided in, into the void, into a uh, source of everything that is totally black, mm. the, the, it's the mother energy and it's, uh, it's just pure potential, nothing mm. created. It's, and it's, it's a, like bathing in uh, in kind of watery energy that's why when we make qigong or something uh, or a divine duality when when we get this energy uh between our hands or between you know it it's because it has some watery liquid that is more thick than air mm. uh, and when the, this is for me the uh, the energy if you would just see the the blackness, totally blackness, and and that it was the start, and only that, and for a long time, it's just dwelled in its own energy, and cultivated love, and when this darkness was just a being for years and years and. And so long time, it started to develop a consciousness about itself. And the consciousness got like a spot of light. And when the light expanded to be more and more clear, started to feel the love around it, surrounding it, and it wanted to penetrate 
the black, the darkness, and there came the yin yang energy. Mm. So for me, if we uh, if we see those counterparts, the consciousness is born by love, and uh, love came from resting long time of resting it's cultivated itself as the birth of everything yeah that's what i i so feel the the energy of love totally everywhere around us if we just slow down and we can see it all you know our uh, a baby is born in a womb in blackness and uh, our pineal gland is a it's a crystalline energy totally uh, mm. surrounded with blackness everything that uh, that is pure light has to have a, sur- a surrounding of protection protection and that is the void and love wow <laughs> yeah uh, you made me cry now that you made <laughs> but mm. see um there is this um I think that there's this longing for the uh, the being, uh, the entire being to just kind mm. of merge back, return to this love. The way you just said, you know, love is everywhere. We can mm. actually sense it. I can sense it. Not yeah. all the time, <laughs> but I can <laughs> sense it. Like, wow, love is everywhere. And it's the most beautiful thing. So... That means, like you said, we align in alignment now. The heart energy is just, it's open. And the the mind, in a sense of the brain function, which has a lot to do with protection of of the body itself, yeah. um, survival mechanism. I've, yeah, you know, when, when, when uh, we expand this vertical breath and expand our heart, it's actually yeah. make the energy of the heart... Uh, surrounding and embedding the mind and the body and then the body start to vibrate and to open all its channels and all its gates Mm. and the brain start to work in off duality and into oneness so when we can uh, work with a field of love surrounding our body we are totally another device Mm than we was before. Uh, I like the way you say that, yeah, not a device. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for some people, including myself, this is a, a glimpse, a moment, um, something that happens, and then we lose it again. <laughs> and then we'll go back into the brain functioning, uh, you know, getting annoyed by one thing or another, being triggered by trauma again, you know, some of these energies that are trapped in the body. Mm. So... Is this a practice being yeah. in alignment? It is. It is. And uh, and to do clearing work. Uh, I actually live in this oneness all the time. Uh-huh. Uh, even when they come up, things that would be obstacles, of course I say, no, this is not good. But I don't have emotional reactions to it in that way that I had. Mm. Yeah. And it's it's just a practice. And it's not only because I also have gone through so much trauma and so much, yes, uh, and the traumas helps us come deeper and deeper and deeper. If we mm. can, if we can, uh, well, em- embrace it and uh, work with the uh, with all the filters that our different lifetimes and our life has created around us. When we start to clear it, we 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 start to get more and more just in peace yeah yes and uh, and it's so important that we uh, we have our own energy field and not uh, like giving it away to try to be someone else and uh, try to be nice just because uh, we want to have peace because yeah. when we totally live our own energy field, we are have, have like a thick protection surrounding our body from other energy than what our energy field wants to, you know, mm-hmm. wants to uh, 
have because yeah we are we are like I Ching we have 64 gates and we have uh, channels and when when we are integrated with our gates and channels they send out the potential that is good for us and the other can't come in because we have no no energy to to uh, you know to receive them yes yeah it's uh, it's really to to start to understand our energetic body right to work with yeah so it is a practice um of becoming more self-aware and like you say me aware of mm. our energies at all times it this freedom is is what i'm speaking of it that has a lot to do with love for some reason i usually connect freedom to love it's um includes oh. everything it's never pushing anything away it's all inclusive no. it's all accepting it's all it's it love love only loves <laughs> so it yeah. is right uh, love picks up the the uh, the the right side of the duality yeah uh, we see what what's uh, what's beneficial with love right. totally natural we pick up the things that nurture us and nurture our surrounding yeah. if we have that point of view and if we have the opposite of of love that we have like criticism uh, it's a uh, it's putting up all what's not perfect and make the perfect unperfect yes yeah. yes yes yeah. <laughs> there'll be yeah criticism judgments yeah that mm. really gets in the way it for some people it sounds very abstract the idea of becoming non-judgmental at all times and walking um, in this reality with an open heart and open mind mm. it's something that seems like a dream for, for some people but you're inviting them to uh, to kind of see that it is possible i know your work is all yeah. about that yeah. i see that clearly that it's possible to expand so i love mm. the way you talk about duality i as I, I think I said to you off record, I'm a student of Vedanta, which is non-duality. It's the mm. a very clear yeah. understanding that everything is one. There's no separation anyway. Even if we believe there is, it's just a belief. Mm. And belief is not true. But it, it is also a, a duality. But uh, the duality is, is one. <laughs> mm, yes. <laughs> yes. Mm. Yes. Ah, yes. <gasps> right. Um, so we cannot say that it is an illusion because some teachers, they say that, you know, this is an illusion. I like the, um, uh, the idea that this is a dreamlike reality because it's not permanent. It's coming and going, it appears and disappears. Yeah. So it can't be. And we be. create our own films all the time. Yes. Yeah. I love the way you speak about the film. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Right. Denaya. That's it. Right. So. I mean, this is one of my favorite um, conversations to have and interactions within this topic because it's mm -hmm. profound, it's as deep as we can get, but mm. it's true. I know it sounds abstract mm. to some people, but it's very true to me. It's true to and, you. And if we find it uh, abstract, uh, we can just practice a little. Mm, if, yeah. if we are, well, it, it would take time to make us uh, in a vertical breath. So I just invite us to, mm to uh, make it uh, a short uh, understanding of what we can practice. And then you can put in your left hand, you can put something that you judge yourself for. Mm. And yeah. in the right hand, put forgiveness mm. and move them slowly, slowly, slowly together and find what happens during this journey towards the middle of your heart in front of your heart. It's so practical. <laughs> it is, you see, <laughs> yeah. it is. And meditation yeah. is a practical thing. I mean, just to, if we can pause, if we can rest. Mm. I love how you talked about the rest because I was about to say that, the description, it feels like a rest when we mm. are in this space that is spaceless. It feels yeah. like a rest, everything rests in it. Mm. Um, yeah, so you did speak uh, before we talked about that you wanted to, the listeners to go to experience uh, divine duality through meditation, and you have been giving some glimpses here. So would you mm. like to go through a meditation? We have, we do have the time, Naya, if you want to yeah, do it. Yeah, I can minutes, do it. Four, yes. Yeah. 
Yes, that would be lovely. So I, I would love to invite you to that. So as normal, just center yourself with landing with your both feet balanced on the ground. Sense your body with your straight back and I hope you have drink, drank some water and are, are hydrated because it's very, very important for the energy to move, mm. to, have, to be hydrated. So I invite us to close our eyes. And then first, I just invite us to come into the center of our head with our consciousness. So place your consciousness in the center of your head. Probably it has been in the forehead because you have been listening to us. Now go inside the middle of your head. And just breathe there for a while. Just normally breathe as you normally does. And start to feel how you can feel that you are embedded in your own energy field when you're in the center of your head. So with your consciousness in your the middle of your head, with your awareness of your own energy field surrounding you. And now with the breath, I invite you to uh, go with your consciousness down to your heart and use that line that the movement of consciousness made to breathe between your mind and your heart. So your breath is now vertical between your brain and your heart and your consciousness in your heart. And there, just have your awareness of your heart. And you can invite anything that makes you feel your heart even more, something that you love or like. You can bring in the sun into your heart. And with the breath, the vertical breath, you expand your energy. Feel how you can expand your heart to be as far out as your both hands when they are in two directions of left and right. And this enormous field of your heart and your vertical breath has now totally natural become as far vertical as your horizon because the heart expand its globe. It's, yeah. And you can feel how you are embedded in the energy of your heart. Still with your vertical breath. In next breath, go through your legs, through your soles, and down 20 centimeters below your feet, just to anchor in your earth, earth chakra. And from that, take the, all the nourishment from earth, from your roots, up to your body with your vertical breath. All the minerals, all the nourishments from earth, all nourishment can feel the crystalline energy, all the minerals going into every cell of your body. And your vertical breath now moves your consciousness, still being in the heart, but move the breath into 20 centimeter above your head, into your higher self. And you have an anchor line between earth and your higher self. 
And now you can deepen it even more. Just go with your vertical breath and down into the center of your earth, the earth. And bring in next breath through your body and up, up, up to the central sun. And now you are a conduit between two polars of divine energy. And within that, you are a pillar of light. And you expand the light in the field of the earth and the matrix. You are creating light from your existence. And here, from here, you can really feel the void, the total blackness. Because now your energy field are so thick, so you can experience what you didn't experience when your moments are fast mm. and your brain are working like quicksilver. So here you just feel the black void. Feel your two palms of your hands and the energy between them that really make it physical experience how the void is all around us. We capture them between our hands. You can have them as an energy ball between your hands. Mm -hmm. And your vertical breath is the consciousness, your consciousness. And because your heart is totally connected to all there is, you can start to feel consciousness all around you, that all living beings have consciousness, a, gra a blade of grass have consciousness in its own way, a bird, a dog, a tree, a flower, everything have consciousness. Your cells have consciousness mm. and your cells are surrounded by blackness, the void. The void, you can feel how it holds the planetary system in their motion. All kept in place in our cyclic movement of reality. So you can feel now how you can put the blackness, the pure love holding everything in your left palm of your hand. Mm -hmm. And in your right hand, you can put the father energy of light that is pure, Consciousness always want to manifest its conscious through the void. Mm. And you can have those two in your different hands, the right hand with your light and the black in your left hand and move them slow, slow, slow towards each other you start to experience the ecstasy between yin and yang. The ecstasy that is all existence. All our thoughts, our emotions, our actions, our words are manifesting in this field of yin yang. This field is a creative the creative spot where everything turns into a being manifested in our 3D world. So now to make a healing session, I invite you to put in your right hand something that you want to get loose of that you judge yourself for, something that you feel that 
make you not good enough. And in your left hand, put the mother energy of forgiveness. And the slower you can move them together towards each other in the middle and in front of your heart, the more the space between will heal those judgments. And you will experience what happens here. Just be there. Go there slow, 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 slow. And you can feel how so many shifts happen in this short time of moments. And this is not enough. Because here you have, as your vertical breath, you have this... Uh, light line that you breathe through and you have the triangle with the basis of the mother and father energy and the oneness in the top and this area in the between you can start a journey you can start to travel inside this triangle of potential and from here see what opens up for you now when this duality is on its healing path. The, the wider you can go inside this area of creativity and healing, the further you come away from your perceptions that you had before about yourself. So I just invite you to be here and experience the travel. Feel the love, the eternal love inside this area. This is so easy to use with any polarity that you want to experience the mutual healing process. So with three deep breaths, I invite you to feel your body, touch your body and with so much love. This vehicle that is a mirror holding yourself to have your experiences on earth. And with a breath, I invite you to open your eyes. And before going into anything else, I invite you to navigate with your gaze around and feel the void. Feel the void that exists even when it, you have light around you. Mm -hmm. You can feel the yeah. sickness, thickness of this void. Just... Mm -hmm being there in the mm. awareness yeah. of this wonder of yeah. our life here on earth. Mm. Wow. <laughs> How do you come back? <laughs> <laughs> Don't cut. You come back and, and uh, yeah, come <laughs> back and be in this state. This yeah, state can be right. eternal. In the 3D world, speaking with people, doing your trajectories during the day. Yeah. It's a, it's a reality. Wow. Um, that's wonderful. Mm. Really wonderful. Um, yes, this is what we need. Um, we need to pause more and, um, I know the word, the, uh, the concepts meditation, but it's just a pause a rest, right? You know? Yeah. Meditation is actually just, uh, to neutralize our, uh, our mind to fly away from us, right. to integrate the mind. And we can do it in any time, whatever we are doing, but it's, it's a good practice to, to do it when we are doing something that is in motion mm. as when we are, if we are cleaning the dishes or 
vacuum cleaning, to do it in smooth moments. Because when we are doing it with our physical body, mm. the body will integrate mm. the mind. Yeah, oh, I love that. <laughs> mm. It's a, the act of meditation. It doesn't have to be called a meditation. I call it the dance no, of life. I, yeah. <laughs> the yeah. Just dancing with life. Um, mm. Uh, so the question, we're almost at the end. Um, your book, Unfolding, Awakening to Your Pure Potential, is a guide for the, the services that you offer. You, you call them offerings, which is beautiful too. I have them here somewhere. Yes. So uh, you have a free discovery session that's, that you offer. Yeah. Also, um, Embody divine duality online retreat six day retreat in sweden activating divine duality this is the live online session and then three day online event and dream state video book so for all these offerings do you use your book as a reference yes it's my landing point yeah. and i of course as everyone are in evolution all the time. Mm. Oh, so yeah. every client I have, they develop new aspects of the same. And the same is like in the books, but uh, it's, ex in, it's always in expansion, of course. We right. are. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. love that too. Yeah. <laughs> but we do have some references. Yeah, you're right. Like yeah. Because it's a baseline that is, it's not uh, in my thoughts. It's, right. it's my living. Mm. And uh, so it's, it's, it's just different aspects of the same. Yes. Yeah. yeah. How wonderful, Naya. Thank you so much for being you. Thank you so much, uh, Valeria. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I do have a, 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 another question for you at the end, but I have to ask this one, your name. <laughs> I know this is, um, a lot of times we say, oh, you know, this is now your real name. So you have changed. I actually see that as your real name. <laughs> but it is. Uh, it is right. and, and it's not. Uh, Okrut is, uh, my, uh, my name in Swedish is Ekrut. And it means Okrut in uh, English. Yeah. So, uh, and actually I am born Cecilia. And I still have my, it's my name, middle name. And especially yeah. because my two first books was named in that name, in my first name. Mm. And what happened is that I channeled my books, but my, the identity that Cecilia had stopped me from, uh, not from living it, but from being integrated with the knowledge of my channelings. Mm. And one day when I have lived in this like feeling of, just being in in some kind of cloud and couldn't come through i felt that this my name stands away from me and i asked a friend to to if i know she was she's very connected to uh, if she could see a name that is mine mm. and then uh, lots of things just came into her uh, you know by cards and by different things uh, the name inaya and at first I just felt, oh, why did I ask her? I can't <laughs> embody this name. It's not me. And then all the dreams came in telling what Inaya would do to me. And I say, okay, I surrender. Good. <laughs> so for a long time, I, I just uh, had to, uh, everyone to say Inaya. Yeah. And now when it's integrated, I don't care that my mother and father call me Cecilia, you know, yes, <laughs> because right. it's their, their, it's their right to call me their name that they gave me. Uh, so it's, it's no problem any longer because it doesn't stop me. But sometimes we need to, to change our vibration to step forward to where we want to become. Right. Ah, okay. Yeah. This is a very good, awesome and insightful message for us. And it's good to hear that. And I have changed my name, but that was not really me. <laughs> Maybe somebody else did for me, but it was not oh, me intentionally. Yeah. yeah, my name was different yeah. when I was born, and then now it's Valeria. And I don't, I don't see any. Um, yeah, and for some reason I'm I'm shortening. I'm not using my last name anymore. For everything I do, I just mm. I'm adding only my first name. At some point, it will be no name at all, <laughs> or it will be one letter or a symbol or something. But mm. it's um, 
for now it's kind of like you're saying expanding right the the, the expression of this it's changing yeah I, i think we 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 are free to do everything that makes us into uh, the existence of the eternal love that everyone carries yes. if we yeah. if we just allow ourselves to be free to move into the frequency that yes. we see now i'm aligned now i'm here i feel my love and then it's right mm. yes i love the way yeah. you say that i feel my own love yes and yeah the, the one love there is mm. Uh, thank you so much again. Um, if I have a, one last question to ask you, I have your website and I have the book uh, link to Amazon. That will be on this podcast interview profile down yeah. below. And uh, my my two other books, I yes. I actually I printed them because they are so much meant to be uh, uh, going for experience before reading. Yeah. So they are. Uh, uh, those books I sell from my uh, homepage because they are already printed in a in a better print. Yes. And I also have my uh, first book, This Creative Existence, Unfolding a New Conscious World, totally free on Spotify. Yes. As a as an audiobook. Okay, that's wonderful. And they are all on your website, uh, oakroadsacademy.com. Oh, yeah. Everything is yeah. there. So I'll yeah. have your website here and the specific link for the book that we spoke today about unfolding, awakening to your pure potential. Thank you so much, Valeria. Thank you, Inaya. Thank uh, you. My last question would be if there is one, uh, one single message for everyone to carry with them after watching this video, what would that be if there is one? Well, I I will uh -huh. say uh, that's the one that I have for a long time. Not don't walk into the footprints of the masters. Ex mm. uh, search what they searched. Mm. Mm. Ah, yeah, <laughs> yes, a billion times to that truth experience, so we can come <laughs> from that place of knowing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> thank you so much again mm. for your beautiful presence for all the knowledge and for being open to life thank you mm. bye thank for you. now